doing Lesson 53 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 53 is a review lesson and it covers Lessons 11 through 15. 11. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. Since the thoughts of which I am aware do not mean anything, the world that pictures them can have no meaning. What is producing this world is insane, and so is what it produces. Reality is not insane, and I have real thoughts as well as insane ones. I can therefore see a real world if I look to my real thoughts as my guide for seeing. Lesson 12. I am upset because I see a meaningless world. Insane thoughts are upsetting. They produce a world in which there is no order anywhere. Only chaos rules a world that represents chaotic thinking, and chaos has no laws. I cannot live in peace in such a world. I am grateful that this world is not real, and that I need not see it at all unless I choose to value it. And I do not choose to value what is totally insane and has no meaning. Lesson 13, a meaningless world engenders fear. The totally insane engenders fear because it is completely undependable and offers no grounds for trust. Nothing in madness is dependable. It holds out no safety and no hope. But such a world is not real. I have given it the illusion of reality and have suffered from my belief in it. Now I choose to withdraw this belief and place my trust in reality. In choosing this, I will escape all the effects of the world of fear because I am acknowledging that it does not exist. Lesson 14. God did not create a meaningless world. How can a meaningless world exist if God did not create it? He is the source of all meaning and everything that is real is in his mind. It is in my mind too, because he created it with me. Why should I continue to suffer from the effects of my own insane thoughts when the perfection of creation is my home? Let me remember the power of my decision and recognize where I really abide. And lesson 15, my thoughts are images that I have made. Whatever I see reflects my thoughts. It is my thoughts that tell me where I am and what I am. The fact that I see a world in which there is suffering and loss and death shows me that I am seeing only the representation of my insane thoughts and am not allowing my real thoughts to cast their beneficent light on what I see. Yet, God's way is sure. The images I have made cannot prevail against him, because it is not my will that they do so. My will is his, and I will place no other gods before him. That's Lesson 53, which covers Lessons 11 through 15. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresason.com and click on Amy's blog.